What's up, everybody? We're back today with another recap. Uh, today, I just watched the Netflix Travis Scott Look Mama, I Can Fly documentary that just came out today, so we fresh with the recap. Um, me, personally, I'm not a Travis Scott fan. I, I mean, I'm okay. I like his music. I mean, his, when his music come on, I like it. I don't really skip it or nothing like that, but I'm not really a, a quote-unquote Travis Scott fan. But I say that to say that I have seen him perform twice. I seen him with the damn tour with Kendrick when he had the Big Eagle and all that. I like that was that was a good show. And then he came to Astro World, so I seen Astro with my own eyes, the roller coaster, all that stuff. It was amazing. So I was looking forward to getting an inside look into what the uh, Astro World thing was like. So I'm glad that they dropped this, and it was definitely insightful. So we start the video a little bit, trying to learn about Travis, and they take us back to his grandma's house, and we get to see the little room that he grew up in and stuff like that. So that was really cool, because for a person that doesn't really do interviews, I, I looked on YouTube, Travis Scott hasn't done a real interview, like a No Jump or Breakfast Club or something like that in about two, three years. So this was like the first real inside look that we have got into him since he's kind of blown up. So it was definitely good. We got to meet his dad. Uh, we got to see the Kylie Jenner. I've never seen them interact with each other, so it was definitely nice seeing them interact as a couple, getting to see their vibe, because I just feel like they just hide their self, so you never really get to see their vibe. Still was good to see that. Um, we, he went to Africa. Uh, that was insightful to me, too. I mean, seeing how the reaction that he got in Africa was crazy it just like when you, you think that american superstars just american superstars they worldwide superstars just seeing that african crowd rocking with him and stuff like that it was it was definitely nice he had shack west but them and start going crazy so it was definitely a good look for the first couple minutes into his journey and how he was growing how he was making music he was playing the butterfly effect in the back on, on the car showing how he was making it so it definitely took us in the inside look of the artist that travis is and how he how he takes his music so serious so it was definitely good so far i think the documentary did a good job of just giving you a Travis Scott experience. Like if you haven't seen a Travis Scott concert in person, then this was definitely the perfect way to for you to get catch the vibes and the way it feels and seeing the people go crazy. Even though it might not be for you, but it was definitely something fun to me. I wouldn't be that type of person that's raging in the crowd. But seeing the Astro World with my own eyes definitely was a good experience and seeing how people were reacting to it all over and not just here everywhere and uh like i said africa he, it was just going crazy for him and it was definitely a good look of how he made it and how when he got certain verses like the drake verse and he got the drake verse you could tell he heard he was going and drake just went in and then he just started going crazy because he knew he had it he knew he had it as soon as he heard the drake verse the astro was done so that just gave you a good look inside of an album that was actually nominated for album of the year and it was definitely sound that I would recommend you watching. Even if you're not a Travis Scott fan, if you're just a, a fan of general music, it definitely was a good look. And it gives you an inside look of the music business and show you how they rolled out Astro World and how he was making it. And he went on his festival and he was on Jimmy Kimmel, Saturday Night Live. So it was definitely a nice inside look of uh, superstar life and what happens kind of when you make it to that megastar and level and where he was at. Another interesting part of the documentary, what was the most interesting to me was the tidbit about the Super Bowl and how they gave us the behind the scene look of the Super Bowl and how he had to take the criticism and how he kind of pushed through it and kind of made the best of it and, and how he was genuinely excited to be able to perform on the Super Bowl stage. I think like the Super Bowl halftime has kind of been overshadowed by all this nonsense and the fact they have gave us like luster performances but it just showed that somebody actually is genuinely excited to perform on that big of a stage and understand the magnitude of it understand that you're with michael jackson now so that was a good look they show his family we got to see a, a real exclusive look at how he interacts with his family he had his uh, mom his dad we seen his grandma he had kylie we seen a lot of his daughter and they gave the birth scene and all that so it was definitely a he he took the curtain back with this one. I mean, I, I would imagine for a Netflix. So he took the curtain back and gave us really an inside look of his life and how he how he really appreciates his fans, value his music, and how how seriously he takes his family. So I definitely it definitely was a good good watch. I would recommend it for anybody. The last thing that I really, really liked in this documentary is that they show how he went over three on the Grammys. He was nominated for Best Rap Performance, Best Rap Album, and Album of the Year, and he lost all three. And I just think it was a good way to show that the highs and lows of the music industry, like soon, like one day you could be at the number one song and number one album, but you don't win those Grammys, so you feel like a failure. So it definitely showed the two sides of the music business, which 
what you really don't get when people put out documentaries. They only want you to see the good side and the good side of stuff that happens. So that really caught my attention and what really makes me want is to review this uh, on documentary. Yeah, so I definitely recommend you to check out the Travis Scott Look Mama I Can Fly documentary on Netflix. It was really, really good. I will watch it again with somebody else. I wouldn't watch it again on my own time, but it was definitely a good watch and I recommend you to watch it. Even if you're not a fan of Travis Scott, like I said, just a fan of music in general and you like one of the two of his songs, it'll definitely give you an inside look at the type of artist he is and somebody that you can mess with and he really values his fans. I think that was the number one message of this whole documentary is how much he really cares about his craft, his fans, and just the whole vibe of him as an artist. So it was definitely a good look for him. And I'm definitely going to be checking out for more stuff when he drops. So make sure you go watch the documentary. And when you do, come back. Or if you already watched it, get down in them comments. Let me know. Give me some feedback about the video. Or tell me some stuff that you liked about the documentary. Or some stuff that I missed out. Or some stuff that you really thought was insightful into the life of Travis Scott. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm up out of here, y'all.